Yaylan, once again she has her rerun and basically guys I don't think I have to discuss too much in terms of whether or not how good of a character Yaylan actually is. The surprising thing I have seen is that even though she is this good many of us still haven't got her on our account. Maybe because you didn't like Yaylan or you were saving up for another character of yours or you think that you already have Singcho. Whatever the reason maybe you've skipped her before and hopefully on this reruns of her if you decide to pull for her you have got Yaylan onto your account. Now ever since she was released there have been a lot of changes toward her gameplay and especially team build because even though she technically works on every single team just like Singcho, today I want to kind of touch on her best of the best team comp that we usually find Yaylan in so that hopefully you have more of a diversify in terms of Yaylan's team build. But first guys if you've been playing Genshin Impact for a long time and you're someone who's been playing on a different server from your home country or you're someone who's traveling a lot you know how frustrating high ping can be. Now thanks to Gear Up Booster they are here to fix just that. Gear Up Booster is a service dedicated to gaming. What it does is that it helps reduce latency, enhance connectivity and stabilizes your network connection for players all across the world especially if you're like me who usually have accounts on different servers in Genshin Impact. So how Gear Up Booster works is actually very simple. It avoids heavy traffic routes and reroutes you to a dedicated pathway which is essentially like taking a direct flight to where you want to go rather than having to take several different flights over and over. The other great things about Gear Up Booster is that it supports various platforms with PCs, console, iOS and Android and not only that guys it offers a huge selection of games that support including Valorant, Roblox, Fortnite and of course Genshin Impact. So for the rest of the video I'll be playing with Gear Booster turned on. For a quick demo guys how the app works is I'm here on my current America account where I'm working on a free to play account of mine and we're currently at 238 ping. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the app click up the boost button you can see that the game is now reconnecting and now my current ping has dropped down to around 70 ping which is a huge improvement for me and a lot less laggy making it easier for me to grind in a different account. So guys if you want to try out Gear Up Booster for yourself and experience the benefit of having lower ping there's a free trial on PC and mobile with my referral link down in the description and in the comments below. So before we hop into some of the best teams that Yaylan has, I want to touch on some of the most important thing whenever you're playing Yaylan and address a bit of a misinformation regarding some of her build. Now Yaylan obviously at this point in time we already know that she's basically another Singcho but in terms of how she works she is a bit different in that Yaylan is a character that's specifically focusing on buffing fully attack for your team alongside with a lot of hydro application from her burst and she herself will be able to dish out a ton of damage for your sub dps as well therefore it's a reason why you can technically slot her in any team or even when you want to play her solo you will still be able to do so because generally speaking she has everything in her kit apart from healing which is so powerful now of course i can't really think too much of a downside regarding yaylan the only two thing i can think of right now is basically she doesn't have any healing as we have mentioned and her burst requires you to do no more attack in order for it to be activated. That is technically the only thing. Now some of us are still thinking that since we already have like Singcho, you don't actually really need Yaylan. Well of course they aren't really a must pull character in Genshin Impact. However Singcho and Yaylan's are two characters that can basically work on the same team and as you will see later in our team discussion many of the team we're going to be using actually have both Singcho and Yelan because while of course when we already have another copy of basically the best character in the game which is Singcho alongside with Yelan also another best character in the game your team is just going to absolutely deal a freaking ton of sub DPS damage not to mention both Hydro character turns into Hydro Resonance further increasing your team HP 
keep Sentage and Yela is a character that specifically only skill off of HP, therefore benefiting her tremendously. Now there are a couple of things to note whenever we are building Yelan, and it's going to be kind of like a distinction between whether you're building a C0 free to play Yelan or you're investing into your Yelan with constellations and weapons. Now whenever we're using kind of like a free to play C0 Yelan or a Yelan before constellation 2, many of us are going to be building Yelan on Emblem Fate set to scale off her burst and causing her burst to do damage at the same time increasing your energy recharge therefore she has her burst more often. When you're giving her a weapon it is recommended that you go with an energy recharge weapon which is a Favonius bow or in other words her BIS weapon when it comes to a 5 star option is gonna be the Elegy and not her Aqua Simulacra. This has been tested and confirmed because the Elegy is then going to be giving you a ton of energy recharge to scale off of you using the Emblem Fate set while also increasing your other team members attack and EM as well. While for a Yela that is C2 onwards, that is when people are going to be starting to build her with 2 Hydro and 2 HP piece and focus more on a DPS Yelan. That's when Aqua Similar Cry Yelan's weapon comes more into an important role. So keep in mind that for most of us who are going to be using a C0 Yelan, it is recommended that we go with the 4 piece emblem alongside with energy recharge weapon like the Favonius bow and the elegy if you are going for her weapon. And also if you do get the elegy, it is just so beneficial because it's a weapon that technically works on every single support bow character. So it will be more of a beneficial investment for you. And so guys, that's basically some of the most important points I want to discuss before going on to her team. And now we're going to be hopping into some of the team that is considered to be the best when it comes to using Yelan. First team, we have Yelan, Singcho, Bennett, and Xiang Ling. This is kind of like considered to be an overkill team because of course we have, I would say, four best characters in the game in a single team. Both Hydro and Pyro Resonance being triggered, making this team to be very, very powerful. I don't think we have to discuss much in terms of this four character power level. And I would say that this team is just kind of like a universal team until the end of the game because I can't really think of a way that Hoyoverse is going to be nerfing these characters anymore. Apart from the fact that they're just going to put in so, so demanding enemies that we just can't beat them. Now, of course, if you don't want to play double Hydro and Pyro, you can actually switch in Fischl or Raiden Shogun in place of Singcho and they will still work absolutely well. This is kind of like an old school team for when before Dendro and Hydro Resonance was introduced. Very powerful team guys and I would say it's basically the most free to play team until now because yeah apart from Yelan who's a 5 star character the other 3 characters are basically quote unquote 6 star character that most of our free to play player will get their hands on. So yeah if you're finding yourself having trouble coming up with teams then this team will be able to work in most situations. Next team we have Hu Tao, Yelan, Singcho and Zhong Li. Basically a Hu Tao focused team that runs alongside with Hydro Resonance with Ye Lan and Sing Cho. And yes, as I've mentioned before, Ye Lan and Sing Cho are absolutely a beast whenever they are used alongside with each other. This team is kind of like considered to be Hu Tao National. And I've already made a very in depth specific video talking solely on this team. Absolutely powerful team still up until this point. Ye Lan being added into the game alongside with Hydro Resonance just makes this team infinitely better because now everyone on this team will benefit off of HP increase which is just so good. Third team we have Yelan, Alhatham, Nahida and Kuki. This is kind of like our Hyper Bloom team for Yelan. We have Alhatham and Nahida here for Dendro Resonance. Yelan of course going to be here to help with a lot of Hydro applications so that Kuki is going to be able to trigger our Hyper Bloom core. Overall this is technically the best Hyper Bloom team up until now because very good character are placed into one team that they work absolutely well and synergizes really good with each other 
Hyperbloom cores are just going to be constantly popping off. Just a bit of an expensive team because of course we have three five star character. But since yeah, we're also considering some of the best Yelan team in the game, five star character is generally expected to be on the team. Next we have Yelan, Nilu, Nahida and Yao Yao, our bountiful core Nilu team that has Yelan being featured. Now if you don't have Nahida then you can of course use our Dendro Traveler and she will still work absolutely perfect. This team is going to be triggering so so much damage from the Bountiful Core alongside with a lot of off-field damage being done by Yelan and Nahida. So it's kind of like a team that's more focused on the damage side than survivability. Therefore healing capability has to be placed a lot onto Yao Yao which is kind of like a thing that you want to keep in mind because yeah usually we have Coco Mi here to tank the hit and healing for you but since you don't you want to keep in mind your character HP so that Yao Yao can heal it. But overall Nilu Bountiful Core alongside with Yelan is still the most powerful Bloom team in the game with a ton of AoE making your life a lot easier whenever you're coming up with tougher content. Next we have Yelan. Singcho, Toma and now Haytham. Usually I'll be having Kokomi in Singcho's place because yeah Kokomi is going to be the healer on the team. However if you want to have it a little bit more free to play then of course Singcho can be here because yes he can heal you and since Toma is already providing us with a shield our survivability without needing Kokomi is a lot better already. So this team is the best Bojian team in the game I have found until now. Absolutely powerful triggering Bojian like almost always. Of course, since we're already running alongside with Yelan and Singcho, Hydro application is basically constantly alongside with our Haytham, who's an absolute top tier Dendro character, just gonna be providing us a lot of Dendro Core and Toma, one of the best characters to be triggering Bojian, making things very powerful. A very fun team to play if you haven't already tried, guys. I really, really do recommend it. And so those are some of the team recommendation. If you want to consider the best team that Yelan can be featured in, once again, Yelan's a character that can fit in any team so you can just build any team that is available on your account slot Yelan in and she will be doing well. I hope that the video have been enjoyable for you and it have allowed you to open up more ideas regarding Yelan's team comp. Now guys if you're considering to pull for any of the character that is on patch 4.0 then I'm currently holding a huge giveaway on my discord server so be sure to subscribe and join my discord server to enter as it is a big chance for you to get a lot of primo gems. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me till this part of the video and with that i wish you a super day and i will catch you on my next video